The Division of Forestry has taken a decision to keep hunting season closed for the Commonwealth of Dominica. On Tuesday, during an exclusive interview with the GIS News, Director of Forestry Mitchington Burton stated that this is in an effort to allow the ecosystem to recover post-Hurricane Maria. Normally, the hunting season would have been opened right now. Um, you would normally, um, normal times, would open the season at least for a three month window between um, October and December. But again, given the, the, the really damaging effect on the, on the, on the ecosystems of this, of this um, wildlife and the fact that they're now struggling to survive, a lot of them are dead and, and those which are alive are struggling to find food, um, you know, it would not be prudent at all to, to, to open the hunting season. So we have, we have basically kept it closed. Um, um, the hunting season until we feel that the population have recovered sufficiently. The crab horde, or locally called mountain chicken, are particularly being monitored by the forestry division. We continue to, 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 to do our work doing monitoring programs as necessary. Also, you know, we've had this situation with our um, crapo or amphibian species, which has been well over a decade plus, right, um, where we had this chytrid fungus, which has been affecting them, our, their population has been severely reduced some um, hurricanes such as these also put added pressure on the few that were remaining in the wild um, so we also are um, going to step up our active monitoring of some of the known um, trapo habitats so we are again also appealing to the general public if they um, any sightings of of the of the crapo of the crapo in in their localities so that we can send out our teams to to because normally the crapos we've been doing microchipping of them so we'll know exactly when we um, you know those we've recaptured over, over a period of time but we know that a number of the habitats are also we have also been severely affected, and so we're also hoping that we can get the assistance of the um, public um, to assist us in, 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 in um, identifying areas where um, populations of, of crapo could still be could still be active. Reporting for GIS News, Kadisha Century.